allegedly, emphasis on allegedly, The Sims 4 My Wedding Stories has been fixed. Yay's recent patch update changed many, many, many things. Obviously, you know, we got the, the World of Colour update, whatever cringy slogan they use, but they also updated how the game runs in quite big ways. They did a lot of base game fixes, but they also seem to have done, okay, a lot of fixes for My Wedding Stories, including like new interactions on the wedding arch, lots of random things. After telling guests to do a ceremony activity, they'll stop doing other things autonomously. Again, allegedly, because we don't know if this is true. So today we're testing out if it actually is true. Is My Wedding Stories now finally a good pack? All right, I cannot be asked to play with Shanice today. Today we're playing with Glenn Brown, Jasmine. Oh, wait, they're not married yet. They each have different surnames. Jasmine and Glenn are old hotties. They are actually from my Oasis Springs save file that I made. So make sure you download that save file if you want it. Something that they did add, which I don't really want to test today, is that they added the ability to sell wedding cakes to your local bakery. So you can kind of make money from it. One thing that's really funny that I genuinely don't know if EA realized or not, you can't actually sell wedding cakes in a bakery if you own Get to Work. So even if you make your own Get to Work retail store, you still can't technically sell the cakes that you bake, which is just so bizarre. I don't know if somebody's made a mod for it, but that's like the number one thing you want to do with wedding cakes. Do you know what I mean? And you still can't do it, which is funny. But anyway, hopefully they will patch that in there soon. Now, is there a cheat where you can just like make friends for your sim? I'm pretty sure there's like a make friends with everyone cheat. So we do have the welcome wagon here. Okay, invite neighbors in because obviously we need like guests. Something that is annoying is that when you do have my wedding story, installed and your sims are engaged if you click on another sim once you've introduced to them you're immediately met by like all these my wedding stories interactions and they take up everything they're not under their own separate pie menu and i feel like they need to be doing that so there are definitely still quite a few issues a few is is a bit of an understatement but you know what i mean okay i found the cheat we're just gonna spam loads of random friends suddenly oh no all of our friends have just turned up on <laughs> They've all spawned. Oh no, what a cheat. Okay, this is getting too much. Every Everybody needs to leave now. We've got to be a bit more selective with this. Okay, so I've invited some of the friends over to my lot. And we're going to ask them to be the Sim of Honor or like whatever it is. Ring bearer. I think we've done it all now. So we can now plan a wedding event in the calendar for tomorrow. I'm not messing around with all of the events. I think we're just going to do the wedding ceremony. Oh no, we need an officiant, a flower pair. Oh gosh, we haven't got this all sorted. Oh dear. We can't ask them anymore. This is weird. Is it glitching because I cheated or is it glitching because of the pack? I don't know. Gosh, I've honestly done an introduction to this bitch about 20 fucking times. Just introduce. Now I can't find the interact the wedding interactions now. They've disappeared. Okay, so we need to get rid of these people now because we can't we can't ask them what we want to ask them. And their autonomy is pissing me off. This is why, like, okay, they can fix a my wedding stories pack, but the base game is such a pile of wank are they going to be able to deal with that okay the game okay to be fair that was my bad for cheating but my game's glitching out so hard we need to go into the bottom neighborhood anyway because we need to buy a cake i swear like i play this game like every day <laughs> I swear. Okay, well, we got a flower pearl. Right, we just need an officiant now, which is it's weird that you can't like hire an officiant. Do you know what I mean? Okay, right, I'm done using you. Please leave. It's getting late, so maybe we spend a bit too much time. It's fine. Let's have a premarital woohoo. Although my sim is uncomfortable from mediocre woohoo. It's also dangerously tired. Oh dear. We don't want you dying of woohoo before your bedding day. Madam, get into bed. I just said bedding day <laughs> instead of wedding day. I would like the sims team to release something where your sims stay in bed all night even if they've had enough sleep because this one really does annoy me and you've got to keep sending them back to bed or well, now they're now they're cuddling i don't know oh gosh sims are cuddling in bed what's happening here i didn't even know this was a is this race game update <laughs> or is this a love struck update i don't know i wasn't expecting it though these silly sims just get back to sleep okay it's i'm done i'm done you've pissed me off right now 
I always get confused with the wedding cake. And again, it's not my fault. EA just didn't implement the whole wedding cake thing very well because you can't click on it when you set the event. It's impossible. So we're going to go to the wedding cake shop, wherever that may be. I think it's here. We have to wait for it to open. They're going to get a beachy wedding cake. That sounds lovely. It's in my inventory. So I don't know how we set it as a wedding cake. I think we're fine. Do we need to buy like flowers? Although again, like I'm genuinely unsure what a wedding bouquet actually does in the game. Hold bouquet, start bouquet, whatever. Okay. Now, should we just do our wedding for today? I think this is working. And you know what? We're going to do all of the event activities, every single one. See, no wedding cake selected. How do I select a wedding cake? After you finish scheduling the wedding ceremony, click on a cake that has been purchased or made in selectors. But then why is this option here if you've got to do it after you've planned the event? Do you know what I'm saying? If you've got to select a wedding cake after you've planned the event, why is the option to choose one before the event? It makes no sense. This is ridiculous. Okay, dress code. There's only two dress codes polished. And we're going to the color red and we're gonna see if the sims actually do it and then i'm gonna edit my own personal formal wedding dress and i think you guys know what's coming we we'll choose one of the rainbow ones there we go we're gonna be a clown though the outfit it didn't select the outfit what did i do wrong is it because the system is unable to recognize if you've got look i want this one this second one okay well that doesn't work we do it for 11 a.m now the events in the calendar can we now select the a cake? Nope. What if we select as cake for wedding ceremony? And then I don't understand. Do we go back into this and do we then? Oh, there we go. It's on there. But still, it's just a stupid way round of going about it. I hate it. Anyway, the wedding ceremony event is starting soon. I can't try. I can't travel there with my husband. I don't know why. He's at home. Let's go home and wait with him. Let's just run there, even though we're going to teleport anyway. And now we just wait for the event. Let's start. Wish me luck. <laughs> I need all the luck I can get. Okay, we're all here. The theme was red. Was it boho or preppy? I forgot. Anyway, not a single human being here is wearing red. So, oh, somebody's doing press ups already. We're no clipping through this other man. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> This is why I added the disclaimer of allegedly. So we're just going to try and go get straight on with all of this. So please take your seats at the wedding arch to all of the guests. Everyone take your seat, please. Gather the left of arch. Who do we want on the left? Glenn. And then gather the right of arch. We need the other lady, Jasmine. This is a lot of effort. Oh, look, she is wearing her Algae TV wedding dress. So we're at the left and right of the arch. Where are the, other, where are the other guests? Oh, they're just, they're just chilling. Don't know. Okay. One's playing the guitar. Lovely. So how do we, like, I don't understand. Can everyone just gather Sims to take their seats? All of you, please. And uh, oh, she, she got a seat, but she got a seat in the wrong place. <laughs> God, I can't cope with their fucking outfits. <laughs> I can't cope with anything. Ceremony activities. I thought we were supposed to get on the arch like him and her, but I don't know how to get them on the arch. Although, okay. Okay, we're, we're doing it wrong. Okay, we need to hold our, hold our bouquet and send her send her down the aisle. We said, or should we send the flower pal down first? Okay, she's awkwardly walking up and then walking walking down with her flowers. Isn't this just like the most magical wedding you've ever seen? Oh no, one Sims got up. He's playing musical chairs. Oh dear, he's having a conversation with the vase. Okay, I'm just gonna send myself down the aisle. Ignore what he's doing. Okay, absolutely beautiful. Isn't this just the most like magical thing? You've You've ever seen. Do we, I don't know, should we just stand here? This is the thing, like, it's so much micromanagement. Like, even if you know what you're doing, this is absolutely ridiculous. So, should we exchange vows with officiant and a kiss? Okay. Oh, they've they've swapped sides now. <laughs> they've swapped sides. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? I don't quite know. We're doing something. I wish this guy would sit down. Don't know what exactly is going on, to be honest. Putting the ring on, she put the ring on his finger. We didn't have any control control over that unfortunately but it looks like okay we've we've done the first kiss this is lovely barely made it out of that alive but now we need to throw a banquet we're, i don't know where our cake's gone 
Um, okay, it disappeared. Okay, serve from inventory, Kate. Let's, um, I mean, we shouldn't be doing this ourselves. Yeah. Serve an assortment of food. Okay, and then ceremony activities. Oh. What do we do? Gather for cake. And then we feed the cake to Glenn. Oh. Who's this? Meredith, you're not even a part of my wedding. What are these people doing here? They're, they're literally, the groom, Lily Fang. Groom, I've asked you, please, to to feed, feed. Oh no, she, she's walking off because he's stuck there. So we're alone. This random bird's here. Oh dear. Celebration feast. Click on any food and click call to meal. Interestingly, there is an interaction called call to meal, but there is one called time to eat. Next, I think it would be good to have speech. So we should give a toast maybe ourselves. Actually, no, let's do something. Let's do something really curse. Let's request a townie to give a toast. Let's see if the townie's capable of giving. Let's see if she's, oh, she's standing there. She's giving a toast. Okay. Nobody's listening. Oh my God. They're all listening. Oh, they're all listening. Listening. Shut up. No way. Although she's she's gone off now. She sat on the piano. Although that wasn't the same as giving a speech, it seems. Oh, the toast is not the same as a speech, which it basically is. You're also supposed to click on a sim and ask them to perform. Perform efficient speech. Is that what we do? And then all the, all the townies are kind of going. Um, is she doing? She's not doing the speech. Oh, everybody's no clipping a little bit. Should we try and get someone else to do a speech? Gather for speeches. And everyone, I've just asked a random sim to do a speech. I can't remember who. I asked. Right, so I, I, we're not really gathered for a speech. So, I mean, we tried. Okay, we couldn't do that one. We've also got to try and drink tea. We're steeping the tea. Or tea. Lovely. Do we all drink? Or it's okay, it's just me who has a drink of tea. Let's first gather for the first dance. Okay, all the guests gather here, right? And this is what we do. Me and my hubby have our first dance together. So let's get going. Everybody's, everybody's gathering and watching. Allegedly, I think we're <laughs> listening to spooky music. Oh dear. One sim's fucked off. He couldn't be asked. They're all, oh, one's doing a press up. They're all setting off lanterns for some reason. Okay. Should we have guests throw rice? Everybody's throwing rice. Right. That's lovely. We've now got to get the guests to blow bubbles. I did serve tea, but that didn't automatically complete. So we've, we've got quite a few of the event interactions to work. What about, okay, if we start a bouquet throw, let's start a bouquet throw. Okay. Is it going to work? Is everyone, everyone scattering? I don't think that oh the uh, the event's finished somehow we got 600 simoleons on our inventory the bouquet throw didn't happen um okay so we survived <laughs> was it fun would i say this pack is fixed no absolutely not i told you guys in my review of this pack what ea should have done is they should have made it a cutscene wedding system kind of like in the sims 2 with the cutscenes so the whole thing was totally controlled that way there there would be no disappointments because you wouldn't have to rely on Sims autonomy. It would just be like a made up cutscene. You would be able to keep a recording of the cutscenes as like a home video, okay, that your Sims would be able to watch back and reminisce. And then the pack would have come with a wedding planner career where you basically just basically plan the scenes of this wedding footage and it's got to be based on the wants and needs of your clients. Like something like that would have been perfect. EA even literally admitted themselves in a blog post when this pack first came out that implementing a wedding system was very hard, yet they made their bed and they decided to lie in it. I think that's the wrong saying. You guys know what I mean. Anyway, they knew what they were getting into, but they still decided to do it anyway. They fixed it. It's still trash. It never ever will be good. Honestly, I don't know why they're wasting their time fixing it. Like, you're never gonna fix. It's not working. It's not working. Just stop trying to fix my wedding stories because you're never going to fix it. Consider just giving everybody a refund for the pack and call it a day. You'll never do that because you're EA. Any normal company would apologize and give a refund for a broken game, apart from EA, of course. Uh, but is, is my wedding stories fixed? No. As you can tell by my video, it's still pretty horrendous. Even if this pack had genuinely no bugs or glitches at all, like literally none, it would just still be a horror nightmare even without the bugs and glitches like it's so micromanagey and absolutely bizarre this is why i said they just needed to do a cutscene system with a pre-made wedding venue where you could you know with like seasons how you can use a seasons box to change like decorations on fences or eaves of your house have a system where the, it's like a fixed wedding venue that you can't change but you can change certain decoration styles in that kind of way kind of like the seasons box 
works. But I just feel like it would have been so much better that way. They've also apparently done a lot of fixes with packs like Love Struck and For Rent, but I'm not seeing fixes to some of like the major issues. And even if they did fix all the major issues, even if they did do the cutscene experience that I wanted with my wedding stories, because Sims for Towny AI is just so dumb in general. This is why I say like, why have they decided to turn The Sims 4 into The Sims Forever? Because no matter what they do, like bug fixes to my wedding stories, it will still always be horrific. This is why I'm like, why aren't they just making The Sims 5? It's such a bad business move. It's so bad. They're doing it for short term gain so that the graph looks like it's going up on the scale so their shareholders don't get mad, but it's going to have severe long term consequences. And EA are not very good at looking into long term success of their video games at all. They're terrible at it. So I'm pretty bummed with this update. Oh gosh, she, st she still hasn't done the bloody wedding bouquet. Look, she's still got the interaction in the bottom left. They're still gathering for it. I'm not sure what's going on. If you didn't see my original review for my wedding stories, my opinion has not changed at all. So make sure you watch it here if you want to know the full details. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.